Edexcel A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 2, Summer 2019, Question 10. Figure 7 shows a sketch of triangle OAB. The point C is such that OC equals 2OA. The point M is the midpoint of AB. The straight line through C and M cuts OB at the point N. Given that OA equals A and OB equals B, we need to find CM in terms of A and B. Firstly, let's sketch a quick diagram of this. So I've added the point C at the top. This is just by extending OA, making it twice as long up to C. We've got the point M, which is the midpoint of AB. Again, we've joined the line through there, C, M, N. We need to find CM. So looking at the diagram, we can see that CM is the same as CA plus AM. So that root going from C to A to M gets you from C to M, hence they are the same thing. Well, CA plus AM must be the same as CA plus a half AB. Now changing this into our vectors, CA is the same as AO. We know this because they're in a straight line and A is the midpoint. Well, AO is just OA backwards, so CA must be minus A. And AB, well, again, we can think of this as going from A to O to B. We know that O to B is B. We know that A to O is minus A. So AB must be B minus A. Hence, CM is minus A plus a half B minus half A. Rearranging this, we get minus 3 over 2A plus half B. For part B, we need to show that ON equals 2 minus 3 over 2 lambda A plus a half lambda B, where lambda is a scalar constant. So firstly, from our diagram, we can see that ON is the same as OC plus CN. We can work those out, then we're getting there. Well, CN must be of some multiple of CM because M is part way along the line. So CN is just the line CM extended. So we've got OC plus lambda CM. Well, OC is twice OA, so that one's 2A. We worked out CM in the last question as minus 3 over 2A plus a half B. So we can put them together Rearranging this gives us 2 minus 3 over 2 lambda a plus a half lambda b as required. Part C, we need to use this to prove that the ratio of on to nb equals 2 to 1. We know that on must be equal to mu, where mu is some constant, times ob, because on is part way along the line ob. We know that ON is 2 minus 3 over 2 lambda A plus a half lambda B. And we know that OB is B, so that's equal to mu B. Now looking at this equation, we can see we've only got A on the left hand side. There's no A on the right. So this coefficient, 2 minus 3 over 2 lambda, must be equal to 0 because we can't have any A's. If that's true, then 3 over 2 lambda equals 2. Lambda equals 4 thirds. Now looking back at our equation again, we can now see we've got a half lambda b on the left, we've got mu b on the right. So mu is equal to half lambda, so half times four thirds equals two thirds. So we're saying that on is two thirds of distance ob. So the ratio on to ob is the same as the ratio of two thirds ob to one third ob. Simplifying this through, that is the ratio 2 to 1. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.